What's up guys, Dreamcast Guy here, and I'm of two minds about the whole new EA subscription service thing, so I figured I'd have a debate with myself and see what we think of it. So, right off the bat, I think this is a weird idea, but a good one. I'm going to be arguing for the motion, and my friend here will be arguing against the motion. So let me be the one to start out. Now, this is probably the future of all gaming. You can embrace it or you can hate it, but really, everything's going to become Netflix eventually. It's going to have subscription bases that are a small fee, which in this case is very small, $5 a month, $30 per year, is actually pretty good. Um, you get access to older games that normally would actually be completely obsolete. I mean, we're probably going to get access to EA titles and possibly even support for games that have been offline for years. So really, we're getting a bonus out of this. So the main thing I have against this is just the fact that I can't trust EA. Uh, trusting a company like that that's fucked us so hard in the past is just something I don't have in me. Uh, giving money to a bad company is one thing. Uh, I, I mean, even when I give my money to Sony, as much as I love Sony, you know that they're using it just to further their own goals, but that's the point of any company. Uh, the fact that Sony opted out kind of says something. Can you trust any company? Alright, so you talk a lot about trust, how we can't trust EA because EA has fucked us so much in the past. And we both agree about the whole Microsoft thing. The earliest versions of the X-Bone were full of a lot of uh, bad errors, including the forced Kinect support. And now that they are jumping on board with this, almost kind of counts as a negative. But really, I think you have to trust game developers to a point. They are trying to make money. They're not going to fuck us for no reason. So my whole train of thought boils down to one simple thought. By doing the subscription service, you're paying for a game you don't really have yet is kind of what's happening. A lot of the games you're going to be getting with the subscription service are games you're, that have already been made long ago. I mean, we're going to get access to older games, which is interesting, but we're going to be funding the creation of new games. So really, it's kind of like you're paying for the development of games that don't yet exist, which is kind of an interesting concept, but at the same time, who knows what I'm funding? Alright, alright. You made your point. I think we agree that this is not a good thing. Um, EA, it's not just that it's EA. I'd have to say that any company, I mean, I like Bethesda a lot, but if Bethesda started doing this and had like a Fallout subscription service, I think either way, it's, it's hard to pay for a product you don't yet own. You bring up some good points. So, this has been Dreamcast Guy and Dreamcast Guy saying like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any ideas for future debates, let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and keep dreaming.